we're at lesson 3.3 and we're going to learn how to skip count on a number line for multiplication. We can use a number line to skip count and find how many in all. We skip count by drawing jumps on a number line. Two jumps of three shows two groups of three. Each jump stands for an equal group. This number line and the jumps are showing two groups of three. We can write multiplication sentences by counting the jumps, then counting how many were in each jump. Here we have one, two, three, four jumps. So we're going to have a four and it's jumping by one, two. Four jumps times two in each jump is four times two is equal to eight. In a multiplication number sentence, the first number is the number of equal groups. The second number is the objects in each group. Five is a factor of 20 and 20 is the answer, the product. The four is what we skip count by, and it's also a factor of 20. We're going to learn about multiples coming up in this chapter. The 4 and the 5 are both multiples of the product 20. Emily wants to make three balls of yarn for her cat to play with. She uses six feet of yarn to make each ball. How many feet of yarn does Emily need in all? We ask ourselves, what do we need to find? We need to find the total number of feet of yarn for the three balls of yarn. What information will we use? That six feet is equal to one ball of yarn. Six feet of yarn to make each ball. She makes three balls of yarn. How will we use the information? We can make three jumps of six on a number line. We skip count by sixes. We need three groups of six. We make three jumps, one, two, three, and there are six in each jump. So we jump to six, 12, then 18. We can multiply three times six is equal to 18. So Emily needs 18 feet of yarn in all. This number line has two equal groups, two jumps, one, two. There are two equal groups of seven. The first jump goes to seven, the second jump goes to 14. Our number sentence is two, that's for two jumps, times seven, that's how many numbers we jumped, is equal to 14. On this number line, we have seven times two is equal to 14. We've switched the numbers around and look at how the number lines look. This one's got two big jumps because it started with a two for the two groups. This one's got seven little jumps of two because it's got a seven here and that's the number of groups. Remember, the pink one is the number of groups. The blue one is how many is in each group. This shows seven equal groups of two. We can draw jumps, show equal groups, to find the product. The multiplication number sentence says five times three is equal to 15. That means we need five equal groups of three. We're going to need five jumps of three. That's one jump, two jumps, three jumps, four jumps, and five jumps. We see it's equal to 15. We've got one, two, three, four, five jumps of three. So we're skip counting by threes. The next number line is three times five is equal to 15. We're going to need three equal groups of five. 
we're going to have three jumps of five. That's one jump, two jumps, three jumps of five. Three equal groups of five is equal to 15. We can write the multiplication sentence that a number line shows. Our first number is going to be how many jumps? We have one, two jumps. Our next number is going to be how many were in each jump. We've got six, and then it jumps to 12. So we know there's six in each jump. We can see it landed on the 12, so our product is 12. This number line shows two times six is equal to 12. Now let's look at this number line. There are three equal jumps. So we're going to put a three there. That's three equal groups. We look for our blue number. How many did we jump? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So they were equal jumps of three. We look to see where the last jump landed. It landed on the nine. So we know our product is nine. This number line shows three times three is equal to nine. For this one, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to count how many jumps there are. One, two, three, four, five. So we know our first number is five. We look to see how many were jumped. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So they're equal jumps of two. There were two in each jump. We look to see where it landed. It landed on the 10. That's our product. This number line shows five times two is equal to 10. Bob's party is in two weeks. How many days is it until Bob's party? So we think, how many days are in a week? Well, there are seven days in a week. And his party is in two weeks. So we're going to make two groups of seven. That will be two jumps of seven. That's one jump, two jumps of seven. Now we can write our multiplication sentence. We have two equal groups with seven in each group. It landed on the 14, so we know our product is 14. The answer is 14 days until Bob's party. We have to label the word days in a word problem. Now our number line shows two times seven is equal to 14. So remember, the first number in a multiplication sentence is the equal groups. It's a factor of the product 20. The second number is how many objects are in each group, and that's the number we skip count by. And that's also a factor of the product. Both of these are factors of the answer, the product. And this 20 is the answer, it's the product. It's a multiple of four and a multiple of five. It's a multiple of both of these. So remember when you're making your jumps on the number line, it's the second number in the multiplication sentence that tells you how many to jump. The first number tells you how many jumps there are. We have three jumps of five, so we have three times five, okay? I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. We're going to talk about modeling multiplication by drawing a diagram in Lesson 3.4. Bye!